<laughs> hey there, welcome to another video. I'm Chris, and today I'm talking about this gate right behind me and some of the issues that I went through building it and some of the issues with the Mighty Mule automatic gate opener, gate hinges, stuff like that. Uh, and the problems that I've had with it and in the install and what user errors that I went through hopefully to help you out. So let's get right into it. So if you remember, we used to have just a metal gate here. This is our old gate. Yeah, it's pretty horrible until we redid it. Where it was hanging on by one hinge. Uh, it was off another one and then we had to rig something and it was really super janky. Um, so we did this, built the gate out, built the columns, and these columns are made out of stucco. Then we ran into our first issue when I started putting on the hinges. So if you can see here, we started to get this crack because the hinge. Now this used to sit straight on the stucco, but it started cracking, started moving, and so I had to break this out and stick the hinge onto the wood post back there. Um, and now it's pretty sturdy. If you go to the other side, we had the same issue, if you can see here, breakout, breakout down here, but I removed the stucco again, and now it's sitting on the post. Now this looks bad, but I will patch it up sometime before we sell it. So my tip on that is to install your hinges on something hard, like a metal post or the wood post, uh, but not on stucco or something soft like stucco, or it will break, it will crack and you will have issues and a lot of pain because then you have to adjust this and you have to drill more holes and stuff like that. So jumping on to the next problem. The next problem is my lights. Now I installed these lights out here, as you can see here, and they look pretty awesome. But this is connected through my Mighty Mule battery here, which is a 12 volt battery. Um, and then we have this switch here, which turns the lights on and off. But there's also a timer in here that turns the lights on if the switch is on. They only stay on for a few hours during the night, but if it's cloudy, then my solar panel, which is down there, uh, I'll put a better shot in, doesn't get enough light during the day, then the night, these lights, if my solar panel, wonder, hey! <laughs> if my solar panel at night doesn't get enough light during the day, then the battery doesn't recharge fully, and then these lights, on the columns, drained it out, and then it starts beeping. As you just heard, that was the beeping for the low battery, um, and then I can't open the gate. And so, whenever you're messing with this battery, if you're gonna do lights like this, I would suggest putting it on a different battery or putting it up to your house power. Uh, I try to do it as simple as possible, and it works generally, but you just gotta be aware of the weather because it's annoying when you have to like take apart the gate to get it open so you can leave the house. And then you have to wait for it to recharge and then you gotta, ah, it's just a pain. So the next issue I had is the gate opening up too far. So whenever this gate opens, it takes a little bit of while. That's a successful open. <laughs> so we have these hinges, right? And the instructions say you're supposed to install this arm to where it doesn't go past the um the line here so it's perpendicular to the post or even a little bit bigger now i installed these little stoppers right here and i plan on painting them but i installed these concrete on the bottom it's not that deep uh it's really simple and they just stop it and then it stops the arm so now you have the gate stopping but before, when I didn't have those, the gate would swing open, and then it wasn't able to close the gate fully. You see how this gate, it's opened, and it's past the uh, point here, so it's swinging out. And then here, it's like touching here. So when you try to open it, it doesn't work. So it would just stay here. So it push, 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 and then this would start getting loose. This would start breaking, and all the stuff was breaking because it was opening up too far. Now, this opens up correctly, stops here, and then it pushes, and now it's able to push open. Cool, and then this also is the one on the other side. See that dog down there? <laughs> this is my life outside of Austin, where the dogs are just like literally crazy, but it's generally fine. Oh, and just another quick note, look behind me. 
See that? See that? We're starting our home extension, which is super exciting. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, and make sure you go watch the home extension series that I'll be doing, I'll be putting out. Um, super exciting, and I'll be doing a lot of the work. Um, I'm having someone do the foundation though for me, because I don't want to do that or screw it up. So, back to the gate. So since I have installed this gate, the issues have been like, honestly non-stop. Guess what we're doing today? <laughs> we're fixing the uh, gate again. <laughs> Oh man, this gate has been the, uh, what's the saying? The bane of my existence? I don't even know what that means. But it's been some of the same issues where the gate opens up too much, the wind uh, pushes the gate past that 90 degree mark, and so then it can't open up properly. The birds are really loud out here. Or the battery's dead because of the lighting situation, because it's not recharging, or because the lock in the middle somehow malfunctions because the gate swing is off or because it gets stuck. And it gets stuck because it's not properly in the correct position. And that happens because of the gates opening or closing incorrectly. So I would sum this up in saying that these issues that I've had is probably 99% my fault. If I had installed the stoppers on the ground to stop it from opening it too far, then I don't think I would have had most of these issues. If I would have just installed the lights on a different battery or source, I wouldn't have had that issue and the gate would have been perfectly fine. And so, yeah, don't make the same mistakes that I did because they're quite annoying, especially after the previous gate was quite annoying. And to be fair to Mighty Mule, they do say to install those stoppers on the ends. That's my fault, not theirs. To some of y'all's humor, I did want to share one more thing on this gate. There have been a few instances in the cold and then uh, just the other day where I come out and the freaking thing is hanging on the ground basically. Uh, I pushed open my wooden gate like the, the screws broke. Um, so I had to fix that, but that was just one other thing that happened. And then in the ice storm, it worked kind of fine, but the battery was dying. So, <laughs> yeah, it's just been constant. And we had someone staying here too that had to deal with this, which shout out to them. Sorry about that. So anyway, uh, that's about it of this video. Like I said, make sure to subscribe. Make sure you hit my comments if you need any help installing this or have any questions. Anyway, I will see you on the next video and I'll see you out there. Tulu. Hello, Mr. Sun. What are you doing? Hey. 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 What are you doing? Hey. <laughs> what do you want? I'm still pregnant. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> Logan. Hello. 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 Hello.